My name is Peter, I'm 72 years of age. I was diagnosed six years ago with a type of blood cancer. I received chemotherapy but I had a reaction which meant it wasn't a long-term solution. Fortunately, I was offered the opportunity to take part in a new drug trial. This drug has been fantastic. I've always enjoyed walking with the dog, walking to work, and this drug has enabled me to carry on doing this just like any other normal person. Being part of a clinical trial got me interested in the scientific research process, so I was excited to take up the opportunity to attend a patient open day at the Cambridge Stem Cell Institute. During my visit, Dr. Brian Huntley explained the reasons behind the huge variations in different kinds of blood cancer, all of which are caused by genetic mutations. He discussed the traditional treatment options, including bone marrow and blood stem cell transplants, but pointed out the limitations. The visit was fascinating and left me wanting to know more about Brian's research and how it may change future treatment options for patients like me. I was invited back to the lab to see if I could learn more. Hello Peter. Hello there. Nice to see you. Welcome to the lab again. Thank you, you very remember, much indeed. Hey, Hello there. The team are at the forefront of cancer stem cell research and they specialise in leukaemia, which is obviously very relevant to me. Lots of their work is about understanding how genetic mutations are passed from one cell to another during division, as well as identifying the cells at the root of the problem. Brian told me in more detail what the team were up to. In simple terms, my lab is interested in working out differences between cancer stem cells and their normal counterpart. Yeah. Mutations drive differences in these cancer stem cells and that's why they grow and multiply out of control. Yeah. To think about targeting those processes, we need differences between the cancer stem cell and the normal stem cell right. or all we're going to do is create toxicities. Right. As you can see here, there's a gene called ERG, and that is very important for the leukemia process. Right. If we apply one of our inhibitors to this, we can decrease it in the leukemia cells, and that causes them to stop dividing. If we apply the same treatment to normal stem cells, we slow them down slightly, but they don't die. They continue to grow, suggesting to us that we can use this as a target without creating toxicities for normal blood formation. Researcher Hikari showed me one of the areas that the team is particularly excited about. The team currently have a drug in phase one clinical trial that inhibits certain target genes in the cancer stem cells. Hikari showed me cells that hadn't been treated by the drug followed by cells that had. It was amazing to see that the drug had eliminated lots of the mutant cells. A lot of the work going on in the labs is highly detailed and meeting with the researchers helped me to realise why it can take such a long time to turn new ideas and discoveries into treatments. But it also made me optimistic that there are such skilled teams working on new approaches. I think knowing that Brian still works in the clinic with patients left me feeling confident that all of this research is focused on improving options for people like me. I definitely will be making a conscious effort to follow Brian's research and other developments in the field and hope I may be able to help in some way.